Hello, Diana. Hello. It's good to have you here in London. Thank you. Tell me, do we all have archangels? Do I have an archangel here with me right now? Are they in and out? How does this work? Everybody has an angel, a guardian angel, but we are all connected to a, an archangel and we have feedback going back to that archangel about our incarnation. You're working with Archangel Michael. He oh. works with your throat chakra. You communicate. And so he is giving you the strength and the courage to do the particular work that you do. Hmm, so we can call on a particular angel or archangel to help You can us always call time? on your guardian angel, but you can also call on your own archangel or any of the archangels. And they will come in and they will help you. And if you call on one and it's not the right one, don't worry, because the right one will come to you. Now, for example, if you want to work on your heart, you would call in Archangel Chamuel, who's in charge of the heart oh, yeah. centre. Or if you feel you need to purify a bit, because so many of us do have karma and stuff, then you can call on Archangel Gabriel, and he will help to purify you. You can also ask to go to their retreats in your sleep at night. Hmm. And if you ask before you go to sleep, you will go to that particular Archangel, and they will give you their teachings and enfold you in their light during your sleep time. And that's a very, very good way of raising your frequency during your sleep. How about for somebody that just loved someone, that just lost someone very dear to them? Then you can ask the angels to sing over that person at night, and they will do it. This book, New Light on Angels, is full of stories, and some of them are about people who've been bereaved and how the angels have helped them in that way. But always ask the angels to enfold them, and they will. And it makes a difference. Thank you so much, Diana Cooper. Thank you. Thank you.